Hello everyone, my name is Raj from RCE. Today we go to unbox MI Band 3. What all features it has, how to set up smart band with mobile phone application and validate the features. Let us unbox it. So when you unbox, there would be three things, a charging cable, smart band and a user manual. So now let me show you one more variety of MI3 or MI3 smart band. This we have seen a different kind of box and this is a different kind of box, completely square, which has a smart band, it is strapped a charging cable. Rest all other things looks like same. Let me remove from the cover and put it here. Now let us compare. This is the one which we unpacked before and this is just now we unpacked. Rest all other things looks like absolutely same other than the sensor. Let me remove the strap and show you why I am saying that this is the one which we did it before and this is the new one both has written MI and both are different in terms of sensor so these are two different packing box of MI let us charge both the bands so our band is now we have charged if you see that it is showing pair the device first so it means that we need to download the mobile application go to user manual and see am i fit let me go to play store and download the application but before downloading the application let me put my phone into the tv so that it is clearly visible And let me connect my phone. NFC and sharing, screen mirroring. Okay, so this is now about to share. Yeah. So if you see that my mobile screen and TV screen is same. So let me focus it on TV screen so that it is clearly visible and I'll put my band here so that that is also visible what is happening. So first we need to go to Google Play Store or iPhone Store based on your phone. If it is Android, go to Google Play Store, iPhone, then go to iPhone Store. Download the application MI Fit. Install that application. It's 70.87 MB file. May take little bit time to download. So application is just downloaded. Now it is installing. So installation part is done. Let us open the application. Just click open button. The first screen says that, let me show you the phone also. First screen says that sign in and sign up. If you see that, if you are using first time, go for sign up or sign in. If ID is already known, select the country. In my case, I'm selecting India. 
user agreement or software licensing in simple word get verification code three one eight eight three one eight eight sign in if you see that signing in okay so next question it will ask allow am i fit to access photo media and file on your device allow you may disallow and later on allow it's up to you then it will give you a walkthrough how to do that it is saying tap add device all your helps friends got it now let me go on plus there is a plus symbol here when you press it this screen will display band watch scale and smart shoe let me put band here and press on band click on ok got it so it is asking am i fit to access this device location allow and watch is still showing or band is still showing first pair the device so the screen is searching the device let me keep it here again now if you see that it is showing tap the button tick mark and if you see that this is also paired as soon as it is paired date and time will automatically update 0505 pm mobile is also showing 0505 pm so it means that now my band and the phone application both are connected and done now first time it will restore band setting okay so let us go through band menus first if you see that there's a date and time written so up and down swipe will change the main menus and left and right changes the sub menu up step count left distance burn calorie and battery life go back heart rate monitoring you need to keep this button press for 3 seconds and behind if you see that the green color light starts glowing and trying to measure the heart rate since it is not getting it is showing dash dash let me wear it and then do that press the button Hundred and seven. So this way you can check the heart rate. After heart rate, swipe up, which shows the today's weather. Left swipe tomorrow's weather, next day weather, and current weather. Three days weather. Swipe up treadmill and exercise. Swipe up. notification swipe up more swipe left 
this is stop clock silent the watch vibration and everything goes silent if you keep pressing this for three second turn off ring is off and again you press this button ah. silent press this button turn off now ring is just again on find device screen let me press and hold this is one screen second screen so there are two skins which is there let me pick this skin now if you see that this is now first screen which is changed date and time format is changed step count is below so this is the way menus are from watch now let us check from application let me switch on my tv again once smart band is synced this is the first screen application if you wish that application has to run on background you can click this and enable disable current phone setting you can change the setting unlock a screen you can choose security passwords incoming call as of now it is off event reminders alarm clock off you can set up the alarm based on your requirement see there is a plus symbol snooze mode period date and time you can set up i'm canceling it app alerts as of now off you can switch on app alerts can't access notification because i need to enable security click here and allow am i fit to access go back now app alerts if i see i can switch it on go to setting and now i can enable all the app alerts next idle alert if you see that it is already on more which is incoming sms most of the time complain comes for incoming call and incoming sms which is not visible on smart band you have to make it on and goal notification these are important thing it is up to you you want an alert to display on band or not enable and disable find band discoverable and activity heart rate sharing now go back to the main screen again in the main screen you will see status walking running and cycling and after a period of time it will automatically try to sync the data from smart band we have tested heart rate 107 some time ago 508 it is displaying now it has gone to updating firmware which means that mi fit has new firmware it is downloading automatically if you see that 11% 12% it is downloading from app to smart band automatically once it is upgraded we will walk through remaining menus and complete so update is done i'm back to my main menus status walking running and cycling all the data is are available if you click on walk get walking data running cycling all the data is are available here if you go below the last friends and profile here we can set up the profile get goals friends all these things profiles we can set up so initially first or second time these are the things which happens i mean software upgrade if there is a new version update resources all these things happens one time 
and once it is updated it will run smoothly see already update done update successful so all these setup is done so here is the mi3 bend it is little different from m3 a local edition of mi3 in next video we will walk through the differences between mi3 and m3 if you have any query regarding this video or anything regarding mi3 you can contact us through youtube channel do subscribe our channel thank you have a nice day